Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about my home gym essentials. So essentials, again, none of these things you absolutely have to have whatsoever. You can have a perfectly fine workout, a perfectly great workout, uh, with no equipment at all. I'm going to be kind of talking about different levels of home gym. And I guess it just depends on what your budget is, what your sport is, how serious you are about fitness, X, Y, Z. To begin with, yes, at the base level, and if you're serious about like calisthenics in particular, if you don't have much of a budget, if you're very minimalist, you absolutely do not need any equipment at all. There are tons of body weight movements that, I'm screaming, <laughs> that are great for building muscle and endurance and you can go run outside without any equipment. You can. Babies outside. I just moved to this apartment complex. Like our building is very close to the surrounding buildings and in between there is a little sidewalk and everyone's got like a little yard and people walk from the sidewalk to the common areas. So they're probably like eight feet from me right now. <laughs> um, so in this place, there's a very thin wall. So I hope that doesn't negatively impact my videos too too much. Okay, so secondary basis, um, if you want just a little something extra but still keeping it pretty minimal, I recommend yoga mat, of course. Uh, not only is this great for like your knees and your hands, you're getting down on the floor and getting up repeatedly or like doing lunges where your knee taps the ground like XYZ just to make things movements like that more comfortable, but also it'll help if you sweat a lot and you don't want to slide around on the ground underneath you. That's great. And coupled with the yoga mat, resistance bands. So I have two different types of resistance bands personally. Um, I've got the ones that are like sometimes called hip circles or just the smaller resistance band. This one is by Phantom Fit. Um, I've got these in four different sizes. Unfortunately, my green uh, heavy one ripped after like years of use, so I have a green one from Rogue, and then a light one and a medium one. So those four. And then I also have the longer resistance bands, sometimes called pull-up bands, and I also have those in four colors. They're almost the same four colors, but none of them mean the same thing. So with these bands, the thicker the band is, the harder it is to pull it apart. And let's see, so I've got the thin red one. Besides being able to use things for pull-ups, you can use these for like a variety of different exercises, like hook this around your feet when you're sitting down and pull it towards you for a good like lat row exercise. Lots of things like that. It gets gradually thicker. Green is the thickest one. And if you were using these for pull-ups, for instance, and you wrap this around a bar, um, this one is going to the least amount of work for your body, moving up to the thin one, which would be the most amount of work for your body if you're using them for pull-ups. And then lastly, for this second level, I have a jump rope. So uh, I love jump ropes like this where the handle sort of spins infinitely. And this thing's great. Great cardio workout, awesome if you do CrossFit specifically. Um, and it takes up no space. So I think that the next tier, I would include something like a plyo box and dumbbells. So I do have a plyo box and dumbbells. They are not in this apartment. They're actually at my friend's house because she has a garage and we work out together there. So I have five, 10 and 15 pound dumbbells and a adjustable height. Um, it's really more of a step than a plyo box because you can't tilt it on other sides and it's not made of wood but uh, it functions the same. I can use it for step overs and box jumps and things like that. That's really expanded the amount of workouts I can do, specifically CrossFit workouts, because that's the, the sport I participate in or did when the world was open and uh, I would have had the ability to go like locally compete with other gyms, but here we are. And then after that, I would say getting something to record your progress, record your workouts, plan what you need to do is awesome. I have been planning my own workouts for, well, many, many years now, but for the short period of time that I was actually able to go to a actual CrossFit gym and have a coach who program workouts for me. Uh, I didn't do this, clearly. Uh, he did it for me. But I got this book from 
Amazon, I'm pretty sure, just called Wadbook by Profit. And this thing has been awesome. So it's got like a percentage chart and a place where you can record your measurements, record events that you go to. Um, you can mark down your goals in graph form. It has different movements illustrated for when you're writing your own workouts. And I'm actually going to have a video coming up in the next couple weeks where I talk about how to structure your own CrossFit workout from home. Um, especially because we're all home now and have been for a long time. So maybe you've been neglecting fitness like I have and are trying to get back into it and program your own stuff. So hopefully that will be helpful to you. Um, this also has a lot of workouts written in it, like the different hero workouts. And they have ones that are... Uh, catering towards run or there's one that's called travel I'm not sure where that is but basically that's gonna be all stuff with no equipment so you can kind of do it anywhere and those are great and it's got space um, where they're empty where you can write your own workouts again keeping records of like your different lifts or the different movements like how long you can do a handstand on any particular day it's pretty freaking cool and then Here's where I've already like written workouts, but I'll skip to a page where I haven't done anything. Um, in here, it's like the date, what day of the week, how much sleep you got, what kind of mood you're in, how your nutrition's been that day, your energy level, warm up, strength, skill, workout, what score you got in the workout, how difficult it was for you, and you can record these kind of things and do like the same workout in a couple months and you can see how much you've improved and I think that's pretty freaking cool. Big fan of this. Definitely recommend getting something like this or something similar even if it's just like a plain notebook where you're recording this kind of information. And also depending on how much you work out, depending on what condition that your body is in, all sorts of factors, you might want to invest in some recovery items. So I have a foam roller. Uh, this works great for me. I don't have a lot of ailments, any problems that are sort of constantly bugging me. So just having this works out well to crack my back because my back is not super flexible. So when I'm doing movements like the snatch, it's super hard for me. This has been a lifesaver for when I have a day that's uh, heavy in snatches or things that are overhead and I just really need to uh, work some stuff out of my back. Other than this, you can get like a tennis ball that would be significantly less expensive and you can get those from anywhere and just kind of place it on a wall or place it on the ground and roll around on it. There's lots of videos showing you how to recover with a tennis ball. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some good information from it. If you are looking to kind of structure your own home gym and please stay tuned in the next few weeks for when I show you how I structure my own CrossFit workouts um, using that watt book. And yeah, let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to talk about, make a video about, and I will be happy to do so. Please leave a like and a comment and I will see you guys real soon.